The aging process, the experience of moving into and through different developmental phases, affects the spirit and therefore one's spiritual life. Jim Coffin with the Interfaith Council of Central Florida is back to discuss why spirituality is so important later in life. And Jim, what an important subject this is. I think a lot of times people kind of interchange that spirituality, religion, religious, and say, well, you know, I'm spiritual, but I may not be religious. So kind of clear these terms well, up I, and I how's this? I think with religion, it tends to be um, something that we've learned. It's, mm -hmm. it's programmed more, it's structured. There are certain do's, there are certain don'ts. Right. Certain, you stand at a certain time, you do other things. Yes. With spirituality, I think it's a much more spontaneous type thing. I, um, I, I use as an illustration my, my grandchild going to the airport. We took him down to watch planes coming in and going off. Oh, what an experience. And, uh, and, and he's five years old, oh. and uh, we're, we're up at a good promontory where we can see it. And uh, he's watching these planes, particularly as they take off. And he goes, amazing, awesome. It's that yeah. simplicity you know, of, and of awe in this, I think. That's right. It's, uh, it's wonder. Mm -hmm. You know, and I think that's where spirituality really comes into its own. It's a spontaneous thing. Mm -hmm. And very often one of the beauties about as we age, we may not have so much pressure on us of, of career and so on. Exactly. And we can sit back and we can enjoy the sunset or yes. the sunrise. Or we can watch the little child at play. And, uh, and, and we go, it's, it's an experience of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and some people have never learned to do that a long life. Right, and because they're, it, they're involved in their career, they're involved in yeah, raising their yeah, children yeah. and then their grandchildren and their spouse. And, right. and then all of a sudden they retire and ah, it, you can take a breath and relax and enjoy everything else. Right, and sometimes they almost feel guilty. Their personality sure. is such that to just sit and absorb the beauty of something. And, um, and mm -hmm. b but this is the opportunity where it's there. Right. And then you also have bring to that the wisdom of years, you know, so that as you reflect on it, it has meaning because, because of your life experience. Exactly. And, uh, and, and uh, so spirituality, I think, comes into its own very often. And I'm sure that it's, it's, it's a different concept for different people. Absolutely, and personality you know. comes into it sure. as well. So. You know, some people are effusive, they get excited, they get bubbly, you know, uh -huh. oh, this is wonderful. Right. Others are more calm and placid. Mm -hmm. and, and, and enjoying so that rainbow, enjoying right. that sunset. And speaking of the rainbow, uh, William Wordsworth wrote a poem, English poet, mm -hmm. and he said, my heart leaps up when I behold a rainbow in the sky. And then he goes on and he says, I hope it's always that way. And, and he ends the poem by saying, I should wish my days to be bound each to each by natural piety. Mm -hmm. And so this is not a forced piety. Right. This, you just look at it and it kind of absorbs you, overwhelms you, takes over mm -hmm. you. And that's what I see spirituality as. Exactly, and I think it is as we age, as we, we get a little you know, on in our years. Right. All of those little small things that bothered us in our youth, get all kind of shift away. And, right. and we can enjoy right. that sense of spirituality right. without it being kind of a mixed in of with duty. that. Right. It's no, no longer a sense of duty, it just happens. And know? it's a, just a wonderful experience. That's right. And it changes lives. Oh, it, absolutely. It truly changes absolutely. lives. Absolutely. So, absolutely. so if folks can um, understand that sense of appreciation perhaps yes. for the day, for their life. You know, you see that so many times, maybe, you know, on a, I want to say on a bumper sticker. I don't know if people right. put bumper stickers on anymore, but it is, it's like, you know, you wake up in the morning, that sense of spirituality brings you that calmness and just happiness for having another day. And it, and it, it can actually work with religion. Mm -hmm. um, it's not, it's not exclusive. These can go hand These in hand. These can go hand in hand. And, um, and, and so oftentimes in the high churches, mm -hmm. you know, just the beauty of the music, you know, the solemnity of the service can, can evoke that spiritual, that deep spiritual feeling that, uh, that you have. And, and so, so it can be nature, it can be anything. It can be anything, exactly. Right. So Jim, thank you for helping me understand how important spirituality is later in life. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Absolutely.